Tonight is Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakwadash, the waters of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations all like Akim Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Another video to the Spirit. My two cents with this dude who got ran over because he wasn't taking heed. Alright, and, and one particular part stuck out. Uh, and now I fast forwarded it a little bit. I know some of y'all may have already seen it. But they're gonna I wanted just to get the straight to the part, you know, they're describing his death. And one of the things that really led up to it, and it's scriptural, y'all. Hey, look, y'all. You know, hey, look, flat out. I, I wanted to do this with the camera on me, but it would just been more just I'd just been cursing and, and you know we're gonna try to keep it efficational, right? We have our liberties that we are allowed to partake in in this world that are not you know breaking the law it's it's not against the biblical law for you to drink it's not against the biblical law for for you to you know lay down with a single woman right but if you know there's something in this world that you are weak against and it can destroy you then you need to have the fucking self-discipline all right to apply abstinence this nigga got himself killed because he didn't have no discipline and this shit angered me <laughs> you know it already went by but i was thinking on it today at work and i'm like you know what man f that dude that dude threw away his shot at salvation because he didn't want to apply any damn discipline any self-examination y'all this is not a joke what we are dealing with if you play with yahweh he will play with your life force us having this truth is no alibi to not to just be a nigga. Oh, the Lord gonna forgive me. Oh, the Lord gonna cover me. No, he may just not. Let me start with that actually. Just because we know this truth, that does not mean the Lord will forgive you and let you do whatever. You will get cracked and be out here dead as a doorknob like that man is now. Dead, deceased. All right, Sirach 16 and uh, 17. Say not thou. I will hide myself from the Lord. Shall any remember me from above? I shall not be remembered among so many people. For what is my soul among such an infinite number of creatures? So, hey, right there, you ain't doing nothing the Lord isn't privy to. That's why everything that we do, you know, weigh Yahweh Shem Shai in the balance. Weigh your salvation in the balance. Is dealing with this chick worth my salvation? Is hanging out with these niggas who don't be up to no good, they just want to smoke weed and shoot people, is this worth my salvation? Is this new job that they're giving me the hours and the pay, but I'm missing camp, you know, uh, 10 months out the year? Is it worth? Weigh out your salvation. Everything that we do, our secret faults, knowingly and unknowingly, all right? It says, I shall not be remembered among so many people, for what is my soul among such an infinite number of creatures? Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens, the deep and the earth, and all that therein is shall be moved when he shall visit. Okay? Here it is. You can't hide none from the Lord. This planet is going to shake and crack at the return of Yahweh Shai, man. Stop playing with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Play with yourself. Don't play with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Elder Apostle Tahar had did a video some time ago. Stop playing with the Lord, y'all. Especially us in this truth that have this responsibility, man. Have some goddamn... Have some initiative with your life if you know there are parts things that you are weak to and this man was weak to alcohol and prostitutes so the nigga should have been practicing practicing abstinence but he didn't so he fell on he he got he got deleted okay right here verse four and then we'll get the video started so right, five and four say not i have sinned and what harm hath happened unto me for the lord is long suffering he will in no wise let thee go Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Some some point, man, you you did some okay, I had to slip up damn. You need to stop having that damn same slip up because it's not a slip up no more. It's premeditated, it's intentional. You're enjoying doing that wickedness. And the Lord will get you every time. Okay? Verse 6. And say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation resteth upon sinners. So we see now, hey, this man, y'all, think about that. He threw away, he's going to have to wait to be reborn in the kingdom, you know. Bear that shame for a while. 
you know, could have been one of Yahweh Shai's top men sitting on the throne, right, on a throne, rubbing elbows with the with the apostles and disciples. But no, what was more important? American prostitutes and cheap American alcohol. Are you kidding me? <sighs> no, he was getting, he, he had been judged by the Lord. That didn't tell him nothing, so, you know, I thought about it and it was like, what more could we have done? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, anyways, so he came into almost $5,000, not a lot of money. So before he even got that money, we were Not a lot at all. Jake threw away his life for, behind, nigga, Man, you can earn that in less than a month at a job. If you're making 50,000 years, you can make 5 Gs in less than a month, bro. Come on. What the fuck? What is Jake on out here, y'all? Oh, no, bro, what you need to do is put that money away, put, you know, a good grip of it away, and stretch which, what's left over, you know? Make sure that you're uh, spending your money wisely and, and make sure you're getting your stuff straightened out. You know and use that money to help you through the process and so what he did instead of taking heed to what we were telling him he went out and blew all of his money on alcohol and prostitutes and who knows what else hey y'all hey look brothers man hey and i hey i said this and you know this is just me talking and obviously you know i'm just venting but if man if i had it my way i'll put it to you like this man your first two years coming in this truth you couldn't even touch one if i had <laughs> if I had things my way Because Jake is out here losing their little nut Off these whores and then dying This man died behind this shit Y'all This man died behind this Brothers man Brothers man Brothers brothers Please brothers A woman is not nothing to be underestimated You will die behind a bitch And they will carry on their little merry way And suck on the next pee pee that comes across Okay Stop playing with your life. Stop playing with your vices. Stop playing with women. We're at war. You were supposed to have the mindset of a soldier. We are in behind enemy lines several centuries deep in the pocket. God damn it. What the fuck? What the hell is Jake thinking about out here, man? Sirach 19 and 2. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. And he that cleaveth to harlot shall become impotent. So y'all... Plainly put, you should be dealing with this truth and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai more than you're dealing with these harlots. All right. And when I say, hey, you know, you have brothers who have women and children, you know, it's a little bit different story, obviously. But you already know, you know what the deal is. You should be giving more time to the Lord than you are your family. And that's just a part of the sacrifice. I'm not telling you to neglect your family, not take care of them, obviously. But you know what the deal is. This is the sacrifice. And in particular, when you dipping and dabbing with drinking and women, that's an extra special demon. You feeling yourself, you know, uh, emotional validation, ego boosting, and sexual, you know, uh, uh, pleasure off some little. Hey, look, man, my, hey, five thousand dollars, man. You can't even. Hey, look, that's not. That's not a. Man, that ain't no real escort money, man. Come on, man. What was you? But you had to, man. What was you? <laughs> Bottom of the barrel ass fucking lot lizard hoes, bro. What was you? What was you doing, man? You threw your life away. You're now you're dead. Now you're deceased. Now you're deceased. Now you're an example to the congregation, y'all. Yahweh will bash him, y'all. Shine playing with not nan one of us. Not nan one of us. Sirach seven and nine. Say not, Yahweh will look upon the multitude of my oblations, and when I offer to the Most High, He will accept it. So right there, you can't keep doing wickedness. Oh, the Lord gonna forgive me. The Lord gonna forgive me. The Lord gonna forgive me. And he just might not. He just might not, cause you know what? The elect ain't gonna keep doing evil intentionally. The elect is gonna get his shit together. At one point, say, you know what? I need to stop this bullshit. This is crap garbage. This isn't edificational. I'm not. Uh, this isn't boosting my health. It's not boosting my spirit. Let me stop doing this. Whatever it is, whatever your own vice is, y'all. We all know our vices. Don't let don't let your vice consume you. That's a part of the fight as well. Not giving in to the desires of the flesh. You know, hey, so let's say, you know, certain brothers back in the world, you know, you, you, let's say you was, uh, shit, let's, let's say, let me just throw something crazy out. Let's say you used to like to race cars. You was on the underground racing scene. Well, racing cars is dangerous and illegal. So you can't be out here doing that. You'll die in a burning, fiery crash like Paul Walker, man. 
And I'm just, you know, that's just a wild makeup story. But you get what I'm saying, man. Anything, anything your vice. Anything your vice. Hell, you was a swimmer. You could like to go swim. Oh, man, let me go swim in the deepest part of the ocean. You know, then you don't come back. Whatever your vice is, don't let it overrun you. You control it, not it you. Because after he died, we, we had found out some information that he hadn't even been home in days. So we didn't even, we have no idea what he, you know, the extent of what he was doing with that money. Um, we don't know what he did with it, other than we know, you know, he was bugging out hard. And um, so he had actually missed a camp because he got so fucked up that he, he became like ill. You know, and he couldn't make, he couldn't come to camp. He was See, and that's the thing right there. When your vice is getting in, you, when your vice or your liberty is getting in the way of doing the work, that's when you know you have a problem. All right. You, hey, but certain brothers, you know, right, like myself, certain brothers were into the martial arts, right? You can pick a day to practice and to compete in your martial arts other than camp. And if there is a, you know, one does happen to fall on camp day, you may get permission from your camp head or elder, you know, right? But that's not going to be a continual and a, and a routine thing. That's like that should be like a twice a fucking year thing, if that, right? More more so picking the days, the other six other days out the week. This guy started missing the work, the work for BS, a drunk slob, bitch. That's when you know you have a problem. So you got two choices: to be honest with Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and the brothers around you, and to ask for strength to fight it, or to die in that shit. And he died in it because he didn't have the strength to be honest with brothers, to humble down, humble down, say, you know what, brothers, y'all, I have a, I, ha I have a problem, y'all. Pray for me and help me. I'm addicted to the drink. I'm addicted to these loose boos, loose boosy booty bitches, man. I need help. <laughs> he couldn't do that. That ego, that pride, was in the way. Sick, supposedly. Anyway. That's what he told us. We don't know for sure. He had the shakes. Yeah, that's what he said. So, and we, we don't actually know. He he could have been doing anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that happened. And then the next camp, he came to camp and he had bought a bunch of alcohol and was drunk before camp. So he came and I didn't know this till after camp. I had found out that he had been drinking before camp. And that's what And that should go without saying, brothers, don't be showing up fucking drunk to camp, man. Don't be showing up drunk to camp outright especially younger brothers bro let me what well, let, mm, let me catch a whiff of that somebody getting fucking suspended straight up don't be coming to the camp drunk especially you hey look man and this guy you know i don't know how long he was around for but brothers when you're first coming in man you should be moving with your best foot forward every step the much as you can especially first coming in y'all and you know, hey, I'm I ain't a, no super rank. I'm all, I only be, I only be, I've been around a little minute, but that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing to me, nothing. But I, what I'm saying is, you should be moving with your best foot forward. You shouldn't be showing up to do the Lord's work drunk. We could die. All right. Now you want to, man, boy, like, hey, y'all, this is just. I'm gonna let it play. This this type of conduct is the type of conduct that really gets under my skin. This is abhorrent this is laziness this is sluggardness selfishness not taking into consideration your brothers bitch you need to be sober for your brother you don't know what can pop off at camp you all groggly go down in one hit of no use to no damn body <laughs> come on man i just like him let it keep playing and that's the point where i was just like look bro you, you need the stocks like do you need you need stripes like do, do we need to beat you or something like what is going on bro like this is fucking madness you know so we got on him uh you know pretty hard to where even i was telling him stuff and i was telling him like bro the lord's gonna kill your ass if you keep it up man you know you're you're, you're something bad's gonna happen to you is basically what we kept trying to tell him and um the what happened was is usually 
pretty much every time we camp, we do the camp, we fellowship afterwards. This particular time, the Lord had us just go home. We, we didn't fellowship that day. The Lord just separated us. You know, me, me, and the, uh, me and the brother Zach, we just like, we weren't feeling it. You know, and so we were just like, you know, and then basically what I did was I told this man, Ralph, Ralph Oliver, I told him, um, I gave him specific orders on what to do. I told him, go home. I told him, do this, this and that. You know, I gave him a, a, a list of things that I wanted him to do. And, and, I, and I looked him in his eyes and I said, can we please be done with this bullshit, bro? Can we be done? And he looked. He looked at me, and he said, "Yeah, bro, uh, uh, I'm done. Uh, it's good. Like I, I, I know what to do. I can." He was telling me, "I can do it. I can do it, bro. It's fine." And I told him, "I believe in you, bro. I know you can do it. I know you can." Told him, "Hey, man, just go home. Instead of going home, instead of following what we told him to do, he went straight to the bar and got super fucked up." Got on the chat, started bugging out on the chat, saying all kind of stupid, crazy shit. And so we started cursing them out. Hey, right there, rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. So he didn't listen, you know, to his support. Uh, he wasn't being, uh, he wasn't being a good soldier. So the Lord canceled his car, <laughs> canceled his membership to the, uh, comp to the he canceled his membership to the life. <laughs> establishment and now is residing in the spiritual realm because of it chat and yeah, basically me and the brothers of Kari were in this in a secret chat with each other telling we were talking to each other about how pretty much we're gonna like we're not gonna take his bullshit anymore we're gonna tell him look bro it's either this way or you're gonna get a suspension a long ass one and if that doesn't work you're we're just not gonna deal with you anymore more basically like you're out of camp dude you know that's that was what we talked about and, and we were gonna rebuke him sharply but anyways so he's take he, he gets on the bus after uh, getting drunk and something happens to him to where he has to get off of the bus early and i was even thinking like man because he was uh, he was belligerent drunk and I was like, man, maybe I should just go pick this guy up. But then something in me was like, you know what? Fuck this guy, man. You know? It that was a spirit in him because this had to happen. And there's, there's only so much you can help a person to. You know, the Lord uh, is running the show. So his night was determined. And as you see, you know, he wasn't taking heed to counsel. And there's something I, I want to get. Y'all were supposed to be soldiers. You're supposed to be vigilant at the times that you're in. Not walking around, uh, giving over to a lust. Um, let me see. And now, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. That's, yep. First, I, I got to. I got to. First Peter. Uh, oh, there we go. Four and seven, then five and eight. Yep. So first Peter four and seven. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. All right. What kind of sobriety? Now, now this in particular, you know, sobriety of the spirit, meaning not letting Satan get in. But literally, you know, you can apply it to the flesh. So you know, twofold, man. You have to be of a a, a stable mind, so you're not being consumed by you know. The spiritual demon Satan or any other outside forces trying to pull you out of this truth. He wasn't being that. He wasn't taking heed to advice. First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. All right. So he wasn't being vigilant. He let his spiritual guard down, got taken by wine and women, and now he's deceased because of it. And he was talking... And, and the brother Zach told him, look, just wait where you are, and another bus is going to come in 20 minutes. You can catch that bus home. Instead, he, he said, I'm just going to strike it. And hey, he decided to strike it and got struck. All right, strike it meaning to walk. While he was sending us voice messages, and he was basically uh, 
saying that this was his judgment in a in a mocking tone like he was literally laughing about it he was saying oh this is this is jake's judgment ha 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 like he was laughing about it like it was funny and so the lord had him uh try to run across the freeway and he got hit by multiple cars they say he got hit by an initial car and then and then multiple cars unknown cars at uh, that multiple cars after that just just consecutively ran his ass over the lord killed him man the lord put his ass to death because he he just he wouldn't listen yeah, scripture. yeah. <clears throat> Hey, and I'm sitting here right here just shaking my head. Literally, he got put to death because he wouldn't listen, y'all. So don't let that be you, man. Y'all, listen, listen to brothers over you, man. Or anyone giving you... Hey, even people in the world can tell you something solid, you know? Yeah, even your woman can tell you, you know, baby, I don't, I don't think you should... I think you should put that bottle down. This is like the sixth day in a row. You've been... Oh, shut up, bitch. <laughs> you know, hey, man, solid, solid advice is solid advice. Even if it's coming from a fucking two-year-old, right? But he wasn't taking heat, so now he's been pulled out of the realm of the living because it was a joke to him. All right, so let this be a warning, y'all. Don't get consumed in the vice. All right, let me give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhakurash. Don't wander to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations. All like Akim Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. I actually want to get that word real quick. Wow, vice. Moral fault, wickedness, fault, failing, a defect, irregular, irregularity, a misdemeanor, an offense, a blemish, an imperfection, both physical and moral. Wow. Don't give in to a vice, y'all. A moral fault, wickedness, a defect in you, man. Fight it in the name of Yahweh Shai. Shalom.